Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dari and on my YouTube channel I'm sharing with you my life in Russia and also my travel experience. And unfortunately, recently because of political situation in Russia, I had to leave the country and reasons for that I explained you in my previous video. I also shared there my personal story and the story of my family, how sanctions affected us, regular Russians. So I hope it turned out to be interesting and if you haven't seen it yet, take a look. And recently I got a lot of questions from you asking my thoughts about the situation in Russia, also my future plans, that's why I decided to create my first Q&A video, answering some of them and I hope you'll find this interesting, I've never done this before, so please guys, make a feedback for me in the comments and if you like it, I will make more videos like that in the future. So let's get started! I think uh, I created a small plan for answering your questions. First, it will be about Russia, then about leaving the country, and some of more personal questions from you. Let's get to started. Also, guys, there is a new law in Russia where you can go to jail up to 15 years for spreading false information. This is why I will change few words in your questions uh, for my safety and for safety of my family. I hope for your understanding. How does Russian news and media cover the situation in Ukraine? One information is given about the special operation. News in Russia say that Russians are freeing Ukraine from Nazis and also protecting local people there. I believe that most people know that special operation in Ukraine is happening not only in the bus area but all around. How has the police atmosphere changed since military operation? What rights do you have, if any, and can you go to jail once arrested? Actually, the situation became quite bad. People are being arrested even for holding a paper, just a paper on the street. They're getting a fine for that for around a few hundred dollars, if not more, maybe around five hundred dollars. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Uh, just for holding a paper. Also, if you're going to protest and if you will get caught, if you are studying in a government university, 99% uh, percentage that you'll be kicked out from there and if you're working for government organization, you're also gonna lose your job. I also shared in my previous video that I felt unsafe in Moscow because a lot of police are being on the streets in the city center, a lot of police cars, it was really scary just walking around there. Uh, and this was one of the reasons why I left Russia for now. How do your parents feel about the whole situation in Russia right now? Do they support special operation and no? Unfortunately, some of my relatives are believe in propaganda, but only some of them. Most of them uh, really hate what's going on now. They also worry about me since I'm a public <laughs> person uh, sharing my opinion. But what I can tell for sure, none of them wants war, all of them wants peace. Just some of them believing in propaganda and not in what's really happening. But I even talk with my granddad, with like really elderly people, and everybody wants to live in peace without any issues with our neighbors because we have friends in Ukraine, like my family personally, and relatives as well. That this is why we all of them just want it to be finished and if i have any disagreements about politics actually i'm really strict person i think about this and uh, my parents are really careful talking with them otherwise we'll have fights and now we i mean like you know in this worst situation it's the worst thing fighting with your family that's why we are trying to be more polite to each other and not discussing some subjects where we have a strong disagreement or really you know slightly respectfully sharing our opinions but i can't say we have a huge disagreements for example my stepfather posted one picture that i didn't like uh, it's connected to politics uh, i started talking to him why he done this and i saw that he deleted the picture later so we talk we discuss everything and again all my family wants a piece and my parents are definitely supporting me on my decision on continuous my studies abroad. They really, really want this because especially my granddad, he was coming to me, I think almost uh, every week since I moved out. And he was saying, please continue your masters, please continue your masters. So he's really happy. And also I'm choosing quite good universities. That's why they a little bit worry because of this situation in the world and how people are gonna react to Russians. And also they can't support me financially. Uh, that's why they're a little bit worried, but they definitely support me. 
And also another big and really interesting question, if shortly saying about it, uh, Katya is interested in how young people in Russia feel about this station, as well as my friends, and if they want to move out. Maybe this is just the community I'm having around myself, but all of them hate what's going on. Everybody wants it to be done and never starts it. And also, I think more than 90% of my friends at my age, they want to immigrate now to another country, especially after the situation that happened recently with Ukraine. Um, because I believe most of them don't believe that something really good will happen. Uh, many people believe that the second 90s will happen to Russia after the Soviet Union collapsed. Uh, shortly speaking, uh, 90s everybody was stealing money from each other. Uh, they were like just let's say by time and most of my friends feeling that the situation is going to be repeated. Also, Christina wrote another interesting question. If Russian people are saving money and have some savings in case of something happen. Guys, most of Russian people don't have any savings, so just one or two months. And the reason for that is really low salaries. A lot of Russians are earning a few hundred dollars per month. And this is money just for food or just for food or to pay for gas, for water and so on. Uh, most of Russians don't have any savings and now it's going to be a huge problem with the situation when the prices increase in Russia for 30 percentage. This is super sad guys, I don't know what to say here more, but I will just share you my, also my personal experience that seeing that my family, they don't have money since 10 years old, I always was saving money. Since a really, really young age, I always save at least all I have, I was saving this money. I think it's not just me, but a lot of Russian kids growing up seeing this issue with money, they start saving things the young age. How do Russians continue to pay their apartments if the salaries are cut in half overnight? Well, guys, this is really a tricky question. I don't know a lot about this, but I think the biggest problem will be in few months, probably in summer, when the prices will get even higher and people will have mortgage, probably their savings will come to an end or also uh, more people gonna lose their job if the international companies will not return back to the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, another question. Now that you left Russia, I assume you've seen the news coverage what's happening in Ukraine. Did you already know the full ex extent of the damage or it has surprised you? Guys, I was seeing all the news from Telegram channels uh, and also from the news of my friends from another countries on Instagram. I knew what's happening there and this is horrible. Like, what can I say? It's I even can't process this in my mind that it could really happen right now with our neighbors. Uh, this is just horrible. And another question, are you sad about the station causing the sanctions and how do you feel what's happening in Ukraine? Guys, I think you already understood that I'm terrified of what's happening now. I told you we have friends, we have relatives there, we're really connected with Ukraine. and. I'm just, it's horrible, I don't know what to say here guys. This is just horrible and this should never been, uh, should never happen. No. So Fabian is asking how is my family now and if they stayed in Russia or flew with me. Uh, guys, my family are more or less okay as much as it's possible and they stayed in Russia. None of them wants to move to another country, they lived all their, life in, uh, all their lives in Russia and also only my mom speaks English and all of my other members of family, they don't know the language. So also they wouldn't have any source of income outside of Russia and right now I'm not uh, able to fully support them financially also because of my future studies. And moreover, we have uh, my parents live with old granddad. He's 85 years old, so there is no way he will move to another country, and we can't leave him. And also, my old dog Lucky stayed with my family, and unfortunately, because he's he's almost 13 and a half years old, and it will already difficult for him to walk. We also can't leave him anyhow, and he stayed with my family. But I believe the most important thing that none of them really wants to move out. Maybe some of them wants me to leave to another country, but none of them wants to move out themselves. And I think that question that most of you were interested about is in what country I'm living right now. 
and guys recently i came to istanbul turkey and i'm gonna spend here a few months I met so many struggles here finding an apartment and opening bank accounts and I got so many questions from you about my life here in Istanbul. I believe I will make a separate videos about sharing my experience here. I also will try to make it aesthetically beautiful and interesting for you so you will see everything about it in the upcoming videos. Another question, what's your plan for the future and if I want to return back to Russia? Right now my biggest plan is to set up everything with my studies is my master's in Europe. Uh, I hope I will get accepted at universities and get a scholarship there. And also I will move probably to Germany or Italy because there are my best top universities that I've chosen. And if I ever want to return back to Russia, guys, I will return probably in a few months. I will return back to my family for some time before going to Europe again. And I, yes, I will definitely going to return to Russia pretty often, but to be honest, I don't think not that I'm feeling like living there full time right now. Uh, top choices for your continued education and why? Again, it's between Germany and Italy because there are universities that I really like. And I mentioned in the previous video that I want to study entrepreneurship. And this is because I want to create and I want to bring value to the society to create something good. And also another question, is there a special area problem that you want to focus when you graduate? I really want to create something connected to tourism that unite people, unite people from different countries, different nationalities. And I also mentioned that there was a project that I was working in, in Moscow before the situation with Ukraine happened. And I would say I want to create something good, something that will bring value to my society and to my community. Another question, if I ever had problems with people when they found out that I'm from Russia, I travel a lot and there were only two moments in two countries where I faced kind of negative negativity towards me as a Russian. First of all, it was in Hungary. My mom and I were buying tickets for train tickets to go to the lake and we were talking with the old lady and she was answering us in English, everything was fine. Then my mom and I switched to Russian to discuss which time should we choose. And when we come back, she stopped talking Russian to us. Oh, she stopped talking English to us. Uh, and it was obvious that her face changed, her emotions changed towards us and that she didn't want to speak to us at all. And just trust me, it was obvious that this is because we're Russians. And another, ha another situation happened in Riga. Uh, my friends, my Russian friends and I were in the bus and one lady starts screaming at us that since we're Russians, we must get out of this country and stay in our country and not going anywhere. And I believe that Probably because of the situation with Ukraine, moments like that we will repeat more often to Russians. Another question is what countries I have not visited yet, but on my bucket list. Guys, I want to visit every country. I want to see the world, different parts of it. Right now, I feel like I really want to go to Australia and also to Southern America. Uh, but America, Northern America as well. This is like just few areas in different continents where I've never been and I would like to visit. A lot of questions from you asking if I've ever been in USA and that I should come to America right now. Guys, I've never been there and probably you don't know about this, but we Russians, we really need visa to go to USA, it's mandatory. And in Russia, we can't get visa. We need to fly to Indonesia to apply for this and since for example if I'm a single lady traveling there without a family in Russia, if I'm not married, there is a huge chance that my visa will be declined. This is what happened to many of my friends and it's so complicated to get a visa to the USA. That's why I've never been there but I hope one day I will come and explore this beautiful country. Another question is if Russians love or hate the West and I would say country is divided by people. Some of them really love USA and they really want to come there uh, to live there. And other people they hate a lot because they're listening to propaganda and they believe that their problems are caused by America. Um, personally, most of my family, most of my relatives, they like the West. Uh, they really want to visit it. 
And another question is, what's my favorite American movie? Uh, guys, I watch a lot of movies, so I like definitely a lot. But the first movie that came to my mind is uh, Last Holiday. It's such a kind movie, quite old one. And I don't know, I watched this, I think I watched it for like eight times because this is the movie I watch when I feel insecure, when I feel sad. And I believe this is such a kind movie which proves that you should not postpone your dreams, your everything because you now know what's gonna happen tomorrow so i really advise you to watch this also guys many of you are asking me how you can support me and if i have patreon and first of all thank you so much and it really means a lot yes i do have a patreon i have an amazing community there with whom i talk a lot and also share more personal experience but trust me even your kind words they really help me to overcome all this emotional um, struggles with everything that's happening so guys thank you so much for all your kind words uh, all your supportive words it's it means the world to me I can't be lucky to have such a kind community around myself and thank you so much for watching this video until the very end I really hope you enjoyed this and if you like my content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week bye bye